Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, I'm playing a series of these I've been doing for a little while now. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie, I'm about to eat a premium burger. But we'll get into that. Folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammering about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? Well, it happens to be from the band Boom Cold. This is actually from their 20th anniversary Year of the Spider tour that they did last year in 2023. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the band Cold, uh, kind of, they've been considered post-grunge, new metal, alternative rock, alternative metal. They've worn a lot of hats in terms of the styling that they've done over the years. Um, and honestly, I think that's very fair. I think depending on where you kind of go in with them, they have changed a lot over the years in terms of their style. I came into them more during their new metal era. And even then, they were never like a super new metal, new metal band. But, you know, they kind of worked within that capacity. I really like these guys. In fact, so much so that I'm going to be going to see them in about an hour and a half. Uh, that's actually why I've got the shirt and why I'm doing all the stuff. Because they're going to be performing out in Chicago. And I I pretty much try to see them whenever they come through Illinois. Because I really fucking love them. I think they're awesome. Uh, you know, I have a bunch of videos of shows that I've seen them at. And there will be some from this show. So get ready for that, I guess. Uh, but if you want to check those out, those are on the channel as well. But, oh, real quick thing. This uh, bracelet right here, this is done by a friend of mine named China McCoy. He is a stuntman, actor, comic book creator, all kinds of cool stuff. He makes these. If you happen to be interested, and I promise this is, like, I don't get anything out of this other than just helping a very cool person out, uh, I can send you a link to an Instagram page where they go over there and they do all the stuff, so. But anyway, what am I trying for your day, folks? Why is it a premium burger? Well, folks, because I'm reviewing another burger from, boom, the small Cheval. Which, uh, Small Cheval, it is a, I guess it's like a small chain, I think it's pretty much all within Chicago, though don't fucking quote me on that, of basically little burger shops that do like shakes and burgers, you can also get beer there. By the way, I am next to a train, nothing I can do about that. Uh, I mean, I could move, but parking's hard to find. But they're a neat little spot, and I would heard a lot of hype about these. Like, to the extent where some people are saying they had the best burgers in Illinois. Now, I just got through reviewing their double cheeseburger, so if you want my take on that, please go over there and check that out. But they also had a premium burger on offer, and I was like, mmm. So, what am I reviewing for you today, folks? Boom, it is a burger. This specifically is their Wagyu Black Truffle Burger. So not only are they using Wagyu beef, it's also got black truffle in it. Uh, it specifically consists of black truffle cheese sauce, two Wagyu beef patties, uh, one slice of sharp American cheddar, and then they asked, because, like, it just standard comes with, like, sauce, uh, blah, 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 sauce, pickles, and onions. And I said, yeah, sure, let's just do the thing. So I'm going to try this out. I just want to mention real quick, because this is a burger review and is from a local spot, it's going to end up on two of my playlists. The first one being Eating Out Illinois, which is just a playlist for spots that are local to Illinois. And then uh, the other one is Burgers for Days, which is just whole bunch of burger reviews just in case you want to check those out Ooh, it's ooey and gooey i like that i love a messy burger folks that is a slutty ass burger oh my god that looks so good look at that thing man <laughs> what even can i get it without getting a bunch of shit on me maybe <laughs> so let's try out this premium burger it cost over 20 dollars by the way Oh, and it's a limited time thing, too. So, like, get in when you can get in. Um. I liked their, their double cheeseburger quite a bit. 
it was a very good double cheeseburger. The difference between this and that is, like, the difference between their double cheeseburger and, like, a double quarter pounder of cheese from McDonald's. It's genuinely, like, because it's one of those things, be like, ah, premium ingredients, and, you know, how much difference does it make? But no, man, when you use really good stuff, it shines through. Immediately, you could taste the difference. Like, the difference in not only the flavor of the patties, but the texture. Like, it's just, it's, they're almost melting your mouth. That's how good they are. And then, almost, and then, like, shortly thereafter, you get this nice hit of the black truffle. And... It's one of those things, I'm really glad they didn't go too heavy with it, because I've had truffle on burgers before. Um, it's one of those things, it's nice, but if you go too far with it, it can kind of override things. They definitely didn't do that with this. It's, you know, very subdued, but it's also very present. Like, it's not, it is, it is an appropriate part of the name of the burger. That is, that is a holy shit level burger. Now, folks, I don't say this. If you watch my channel, you know I don't, I don't proclaim this easily. This right here, this burger, this is the business. And I kind of hate that it is because <laughs> I hate that, like, yeah, you go over there and you add on these, like, super expensive, fancy ingredients, and it makes the burger better. And I'm not saying that their double cheeseburger was bad. It was a very good double cheeseburger. And I'm not even going to say that there aren't circumstances I wouldn't prefer their double cheeseburger over this. Because this is very rich and very decadent. But you can absolutely, like I said, you can just totally taste the difference. Um, and just to give like a quick little thing. I really like how they do their pickles and their onions. Because I'm not a big pickles and onion guy. They slice their pickles very thin, and their onions very, very fine. So, like, they just kind of accent the burger instead of being abrasive to the whole experience. The Wagyu is just so tasty and so good. Like I say, it's genuinely almost melting your mouth tasty. And then you just get this nice kind of earthiness. You know, almost, you know, trouble is basically like a mushroom. I think it's even in the mushroom family. So it almost has a mushroomness, but like it's it's different, you know. It's not as it's not as heavy. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit more delicate, but it still manages to come through. And it just it like, you know, it's been said before, and I don't usually use the term, but it's got that umami capacity, you know. Just it adds to the savoriness, and then just it's fucking ridiculous. That is stupid good. That is so good. Um, but, two questions I have to be asked with an added third one. Number one, would I get it again? Number two, would I recommend it? And number three, does this burger live up to the hype of Small Cheval? Does it make it, arguably, the best burger in Illinois? I'm going to go with yes. Yes, and then we'll kind of get to the last one. I think for me personally, you know, look, man, I'll pay for a good burger. I'm the type of person where it's like, you know, and I'm not fucking rolling at it by any stretch of the imagination, folks. You know, but for me personally, not all the time, but I'm willing to pay for, you know, a little bit of a premium experience. Over 20 bucks is a little bit much, but I'm going to say it. For this burger, I don't feel like it's... I don't feel like it's too much. I feel like it's a premium burger. It's a premium experience. You're getting a lot to it. It's very tasty. And it's just, it tastes like you're getting, it tastes like you're still getting good value for the burger, even at, you know, again, being over 20 bucks. It wouldn't be an all the time burger for me because again, it's expensive. It's also very rich. It's one of those ones where this is a burger you treat yourself to. This is like, you know, if you've had a really great day, maybe you got a promotion or some shit, this is that burger where you want to go over there and you want to tap off that, you know, that when you're already on a good mood, 
you want this to go over there and be that exclamation point. And for me, that's, yeah, absolutely. Especially since I'm going to a concert real soon. That makes me really happy. And then, if I'm recommending it, I mean, again, the price could be a, you know, it could be a uh, bit of an issue for some people. And, you know, like I guess they do offer, you know, just their normal stuff, which is definitely cheaper. So, you know, and those are still good. This particular burger, I think that if you're inclined towards it, if you see it on the menu, if it's still available, get it. Get it, I think you're really going to like it. It's not going to be for everybody, to be fair. But, I, again, it seems like it could be very presumptuous and just, again, you know, it's all these fancy ingredients. But it's not. It's still, at heart, a very down-to-earth burger that's just elevated. And, I, for me, that's just fantastic. And as for the final thing, does this make this the best burger in Illinois? It puts it a little bit closer. I'm still not going to go over there and say that I think it's the best, especially because it is like their premium experience kind of thing, you know? So it's, it's, you know, but it is a very, very good burger. And I would go as far as to say with this, I would put this in the upper echelon for myself of burger places in Illinois. Their double cheeseburger was a very good double cheeseburger. This, as an option, as a thing to have, is a hell of a thing to have. And it's very, very just, yeah. It, it definitely puts them up there for me. So, again, I prefer more of a pub-style burger with the thicker, you know, the thicker burger and stuff like that. But this is, this is some really good stuff. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Might you for rest of your month. Spend your rest of your folks. Go over there. It's a truly extra fancy-tastic rest of your life. Just pinky out, all that good stuff. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important that we go over there whenever possible Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, like I said, I am not going to go over there and tell you to just be rolling out there getting $20 burgers left and right. If you can make that happen, I mean, it's probably not great for your health, but, you know, if you can make that happen for yourself, but... I think that kind of what this burger and what this review kind of, you know, sort of emphasizes is sometimes you got to treat yourself a little bit. And there's been a lot of discussion, you know, especially in America, do we treat ourselves too much? And I would argue that to a certain extent we do, and myself very much included in that. But I do think that a lot of that is in response to just everyday life. And there's just, you know, things are frustrating and we have to deal with stuff. And like, as much as like, you know, I'm going to a concert, eating some great burgers. It's like, when I'm done with that, I have to go back home to bills and mortgage payments and fucking bullshit at work and all this stuff. I have to go back to work tomorrow, you know? So it's like, I do think it's important. We find that time for ourselves. And sometimes that's a $20 burger. Excuse me. Bye.